Hi, this is Sarah from Posh Pooch Designs, and today's video we're going to be showing you how to make this fun summer bucket hat out of cotton yarn. I'm going to be doing two videos. One video will be part one will be the hat, and the part two will be how to make the flower to put on the hat. We'll set her aside. And um, the crochet pattern is called Summer Bucket Hat, and it can be made for men or for women. It's just a basic bucket hat pattern. And I will put that pattern, the link for it, in the comments, and so you ha you'll have that for reference. So what you need is you're going to be using your eye hook. And all you're going to need, of course, a needle for weaving in your ends and scissors for cutting yarn if you need to. Um, but the yarn we're going to be using today is this cotton striped yarn and a solid lavender orchid purple for our demonstration today. Any cotton will work. And uh, this is peaches and cream. And so I'm going to move my screen down so you can see my hands. There we go. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to be starting at the crown of the hat, and we're going to be chaining two, one, two, and then we're going to be double crocheting, ten double crochets in the second chain from the hook. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, get that tail out of the way there, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to join that double crochet to the top of the first double crochet, slip stitch, and chain three. And the chain three on this pattern on each row will count as your first double crochet. For row two, we're going to put one double crochet in that same stitch as the chain three, counts as two double crochets, and then two double crochets in each double crochet. And that will give us 20 double crochets on this row. I missed my loop. There we go. One, two, one, two. Now this row, this uh, top of this hat will have lots of increases because we want the top to be flat as a pancake like a bucket. You look at the bottom of a bucket, it's flat and then it uh, comes straight up and that's the way this hat is until we do the flare of the band of the uh, brim. All right, one, two, and when when you're working with cotton, some of these can be a little stiff, and that's why I do recommend that if you are a tight crocheter, that you might go up a hook. Be, uh, hook size because cotton doesn't have a lot of stretch and we're getting our stretch 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I was off. I need to do two more. I thought there was a gap there. 1, 2. You're getting your stretch, like I was saying, from your stitches, not your yarn. Okay, so we're going to again join that last double crochet to the first or to the top of the chain 3. All right. Chain three, one, two, three, same stitch as the d chain three. We're going to put a double crochet. Then we're going to put one double crochet in the next stitch. And this is the pattern we'll follow around. One, two double crochets in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. One, two, and one, one, two, and one. And this will give us 30 stitches. Because we're increase, we're, we will increase every row for the next 
five rows. And that will make the top of our hat. This is the perfect hat to me because although you could use this pattern with acrylic, I think that it works best with cotton because in the summer when you sweat, cotton is absorbent and it will absorb all that sweat. And then you can toss it in the wash and um, be sure to wash it on cold. So, so if it's a dyed um, cotton yarn, depending on what you get, that you don't lose your colors. And I this red, white, and blue one I showed you earlier, it's been washed a couple of times because it is one of my favorite hats, just to pop on when I'm taking the dogs for a walk. All right, one more single crochet, and then we're going to join. Single crochet, that was a double crochet. Again, we're joining to the top of the chain three. And you will continue that. And don't worry if, if it's a little bit like that, just spread it out. And the cotton will stretch for you. Okay, you'll have five rows, one, two, three, four, five of double crochet, and you will increase every every one just like the pattern states. Now I'm going to show you how to make this ridge, and we'll be doing that with the purple yarn. I'm going to go ahead and cut that one because we're using it over there. Okay, what you will do leave your yarn attached that you're already working with on your hat. Now I know this is only three and we need five, but I'm gonna demonstrate how to make row number five, or row number six I mean, um, join your solid color that you're going to use. And then you'll notice that there are front uh, loops and back loops. The loops that are closest to you are your front loops. The loops that are on the outside are your back loops. And we're going to be using only the front loops on this pattern. So what you're going to do is you're going to put one single crochet in each of those front loops, just like that. And what this will do is this will give the ridge in the hat that you see on this one. See this ridge? All right. And you'll put one single crochet in each one of those front loops across the hat like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that over there. And we're going to work with this one that's all ready to go. All right, so we've got five rows with increases. This is the top of our hat. And then we've done our single crochet in the front loop. Okay. And then we need to join to the first single crochet and tie off. And so we'll just do that. Cut your string and we'll, we will weave that in later. And But I do want you to pull and tie off. And then we're going to leave that sit because we'll work that in later. And we're going to pick back up this yarn right here that we left attached. Now this one isn't attached and I'll attach it. But I want you to leave it attached. I'm just going to do a quick knot just to save us some time and then I'll weave those in. Because the next row, um, row seven, we're going to be working in these back loops that we left. And what you'll do is you'll go through that first back loop and chain three. One, two, three. Ignore that knot because I, I had to cut the yarn to show you. And then you're going to put one double crochet in each one of those back loops. Yeah, there we go. My hook got stuck. All right, let me move the yarn a little bit. And you can see here is what we, the, what we stitched on our front loop, and here's what we stitched on our back loop. And you're going to do one double crochet in each stitch around. And you will do this for six rows and let me show you this one I already have ready for you so you don't have to sit and wait for me to crochet um, one two three four five six rows of double crochet here's a front six rows of double crochet so still leaving your yarn attached you're going to attach your purple yarn again or your solid yarn 
and then you will stitch here we, we, we attached our purple yarn again and then you will stitch one half double crochet in each stitch around and then I will show you just in case you don't know what a half double crochet you just pull it through yarn over go through the double crochet pull up a loop yarn over and go through all three loops and we'll do this for two rows and this will give us our our hat band basically in a solid color okay and this one already has a row almost completed and again you're going to join to that first half double crochet only we're only going to chain two because it's a half double crochet let me attach that yarn <laughs> there we go all right we'll do that again we'll join with a slip stitch and then chain two because it's a half double crochet there we go it didn't want to go through and then we'll do one half double crochet in each one of these around and like I said all the steps for this pattern are on my blog it's a free pattern and I will put that in the comments now this hat after you finish this row some reason this yarn wants to be a little splitty on me there we go um, after you finish this row which is your second row of half double crochet you can stop there if you want want it to be just a summer beanie hat but I want to put the brim on and so I'm trying to get around here pretty fast so I can show you how to do the brim because without the brim you can't keep the Sun out of your eyes now this would be a fun hat to make to match an Easter outfit and even a fun hat to wear early mornings for a walk or something that you don't really need to have the Sun out of your eyes whoopsie doopsie there we go all righty still got a ways to go what I'm going to do since this is part one of our video I'm going to finish off with this band and then I'm going to do the brim portion and the flower for part two of this hat all right <clears throat> so let's get our strings out of the way when you get to the bottom of part two you have just your basic bucket hat with no brim on it okay and this is the end of part one of the bucket hat and for part and I'll put the brim portion and the flower for part two Thank you for watching the part one of our video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.